Who is this guy? And how did he come to represent the United States? And why is he dressed that way? If you look up the history of Uncle Sam, you'll probably see a photo of this man, Sam Wilson. He was a meatpacker who supplied American troops during the War of 1812. He marked his barrels with the letters U.S. for United States, and some soldiers joked that they stood for Uncle Sam. The story was reported in the May 12, 1830 New York Gazette, and it spread from there. But Americans were talking about Uncle Sam years before Sam Wilson came along. In 1810, an American sailor referred to his country as Uncle Sam. Even before the Uncle Sam figure gained popularity, there was another character that the British used to represent America, Brother Jonathan. A Jonathan was a derisive name British royalists called the Puritans. The name implied a simple country bumpkin. When Puritans came to America, the nickname came along with them. Yankee Doodle was another mocking caricature from the British who looked down on the crude colonials. As often happens, an insult became a point of pride. Americans began using Brother Jonathan to represent their attitude towards Great Britain during the Revolution and War of 1812. In 1842, Brother Jonathan was even used as the title for a weekly newspaper in America, which further spread the name. Brother Jonathan was often portrayed as a brash, uncultured, sharp dealer, the Yankee peddler who could sell you anything. The Uncle Sam symbol became a little more popular during the Civil War because he could easily be drawn to look like President Lincoln. Southerners didn't take to Brother Jonathan. He seemed too close to the Yankee traders up north that they distrusted. For whatever reason, Brother Jonathan faded away while Uncle Sam remained with his traditional hat, suit, build, and character. So why does he look like that? His clothing features a stars and stripes design, a motif still being used today to represent America. The style of his suit, the pegged pants, the swallowtail coat, the vest and top hat, they were all the fashion for men in the 1820s, the style of gentlemen in the age of Andrew Jackson. Uncle Sam's chin beard without a mustache is also a remnant of men's fashions from the early 1800s, this style endured to the mid-century among Southern gentlemen. In early cartoons, Uncle Sam was shown wearing a Phrygian cap. This ancient Greek hat was adopted by French revolutionaries to symbolize their devotion to liberty. It sometimes appeared on American coins being worn by Miss Liberty, another national symbol. But most often, Uncle Sam wore a hat made of beaver fur a style that was the height of fashion in the early 1800s. At that time, America was the chief supplier of beaver hats to the world. The more traditional versions of Uncle Sam still show his bleached beaver pelt hat from the Jacksonian age. After two centuries, he's still wearing his original outfit. The country has changed a lot in that time, and Americans have played with changing Uncle Sam's image. But symbols don't change. We'll stick with this guy for a long time. <laughs>